What's up everybody? Welcome to the first vlog of Alexander Racing or newly named Caden Alexander Racing. Um, if you've been around, you've seen that we already have GoPro videos and we got someone recording up in the grandstands for us and we're putting together videos like that. Well, we've decided we want to go a little farther and do a vlog style content for you guys. So over the off season, we're gonna bring you along with tearing the car down, getting it rebuilt, and everything that goes into that. We're just gonna give you a little insight to our race team. And we'll take you, you know, we do other stuff like go-karting and you know, we have some fun. We'll bring you along for that. Um, for those of you that know us and have been with us on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, we appreciate you. To those of you that are new, don't know, don't know who we are, we are a local division dirt racing team. We race super stocks at Wayne County Speedway in Orville, Ohio. Our driver now has six races under his belt. Caden Alexander, he's fourth generation, 15 years old, making a lot of strides and improvements. His great grandfather, Dean Alexander, if you're around here, you know the name, followed um, obviously first generation. His son, Chet Alexander, His son, Chase Alexander, and now his son, Kate. Bear with me. I know I'm probably saying this all kind of really messed up. and as We're new to it. I'm new to it. Um, you'll see a lot of me. I'm Kyle, crew member, tire guy, and I handle the social media aspects of everything, the Facebook. I make, I edit all the videos. I'll be the behind the camera on this, along with my girlfriend, Jessica. Um, right now I'm on my way over to the race shop and we're gonna get the motor out of this thing, get it ready to get set off and get some work done to it for the 2023 season. <laughs> so thanks for watching, see you at the shop. Alright, we're in the shop now. I have them in our Got car tore down pretty good here. Our slider race car, super stock. Getting some of the body off. We're going to pull the motor. I'm working on getting the headers off. Got that side off. Working on that side now. Got Caden. I was going to have Chase and Dean. Whatever he yeah. Whatever. If he had to put all new arms on. Chase about the slide underneath yeah. there. Get the drive shaft out of it. I'm going to keep getting the headers off. We're going to be unbolted. And we're going to rip this motor out. So I'm going to throw you guys up on a time lapse and go from there. Headers are off. Radiator is ready to drain. Yeah, What's Chase working on? Fuel rail. The fuel rail on. Dean probably camera shy. Don't want to be on it. Hey, Dean watches the U other people's YouTube, so you can watch our YouTube. Chase got the drive shaft out. Got a bunch of stuff out of the car so Hi. far. Yeah, they already saw the body off. Woo! That fuel in the cot feels good. Yeah, Chase got a little boo-boo. He's been whining about it for about the last hour now. Hey, I will not be 
Caden's touched a wrench. We'll give him that credit, I guess. <laughs> but we got a drain radiator, shaker string. That's trash. We're gonna get rid of it. All that screen where all the stay ties and stuff are. Start snipping them off. Okay, and do that. We got right here. Some other little autumn guns here to get the motor out, but put you back on a time lapse and see you then. We got carb off. Look at that. Focus in on it. Ew. Oh, that's, that's nasty. That's not really good. Carbs off. <laughs> got our steering pump sitting off. This we gotta nice. push the car out, drain the coolant out. Caden and Dean got fuel out of the tank. Just a couple more things. Bearing the coolant. We're ready to go. Okay. All right, we're one step closer. Sorry, um, sorry Kate, I'm still can laughing. Caden, can you bring a light, please? We got, got the car pushed outside. We might as well just take the whole freaking radiator out out here. Got to drain the radiator. Transmission, bell housings all off the car. All we gotta do is drain the radiator. I'm both them out to pull it. Had a very funny moment with Caden. Never I, a dull moment with Caden. Yeah, never a dull moment. So me and Chase are supporting the car. You can't really tell in the video, but it's a pretty good incline here on this driveway. We're holding it. Tell Caden to grab a block. Runs around the car. Up the driveway. Yeah, taking her up the driveway. Back to the shop, instead of just, you know, taking five steps that way for the block. He Takes the longest it was way. Over there. He no. said it was over there. No. <laughs> oh so for anybody that saw this car at blowout, it definitely, she, she stripped down. But plus side is we can re, we don't, really, don't need to remake a lot. Decking will stay, roof will stay, pant, sail panels. Down. We got fenders, the hood, doors, quarters are somewhere around here. Oh, they're back there. Bre Sponsors will probably change. Um, we will say again, every spot on this car is up for grabs. No one's got anything locked down right now. Um, if you're interested, PM. Either myself, Kyle Snodgrass, or go to the Ch Alexander Racing Facebook page and send us a PM. We'll send you a pricing chart and your options for sponsorship. If you're interested, like I said, everything is up for grabs on this car. We're going to have a new wrap made for 2023. But hang tight here and we're about ready. We, our problem is we spend probably four hours talking on two hours worth of work and cold oil yeah cold <laughs> oil was the issue too we couldn't we couldn't fire the motor up here i'll show you guys we had a a grease cert break in our bell housing gear and thought uh saturday night the blowout this gear it didn't break but it cocked sideways and we weren't able to start the car and anybody not around ohio well it's cold right now so the oil was thick it took a minute for it to drain out but an hour later we got it there may be something there. And now we got draining the coolant out Radiator. Hey, nothing cheap on racing.
It, it did get cold out here. Holy crap. If anybody has any pointers on what we can do better with videos, this is our first one. New to this, we're learning. One reason I know it, half of what I'm doing is from Ryan Missler, Chase Holland, and Hunt the Front. <laughs> Watching them guys. But you know, they got a, they got the fancy GoPro 11s. I got an iPhone 13. <laughs> Hey, start somewhere. I cannot wait to have uh, a motor that's not leaking oil everywhere. Yeah, so I don't know if anybody anybody that's followed us or paid attention to us this season. I mean, we went to we went to Hilltop first off out of the gate, ran second to Kyle Moore, tight competition. First three races, this motor had a lot of speed in it, and as season went on something went sour and it just slowly got slower and slower and slower that was just from when we put, when we put Caden in you know what yeah those last six races this thing dropped what three seconds worth of speed <laughs> we, we give him a hard time but all, all reality if you've read our if you've been on our Facebook we're incredibly proud of this kid he's done good heck he's done does better than most of the guys that's been racing for 10 years yeah um so we ha we haven't posted it officially on facebook but we are running for points in the super stock class 2023 it will be our last year in super stocks now whether we go anywhere else yeah we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll try so we're gonna run some other tracks but as for divisional 2023 we're running this car Wayne County for points. We'll probably we'll run Hilltop when they run us, and we might try some other places. But in 2024, we are leaving the division. Be moving to either modified or late model. Just depends on our situation. But just we ain't put him in a sprint. I don't know nothing about a sprint. Neither do I. You're on your own. But throw you back on a time lapse here and. Get this motor out of this car. She's out. So it was kind of, we didn't really tell a lot of people about it, but we had some issues with this motor and it started um, at testing in what, March or whenever that was. Preseason testing, our rear main has just been absolutely soaking everything. We got, I mean, all that puddles from, uh, from us just now Draining stuff. I'll edit that out. But uh, our valve, our intake gasket's been leaking coolant. Everything on this motor's been leaking. It's just been issue after issue with it all year. We're not sure. We have an idea of the route we're going. We're going to do to get freshened up, taken care of. When she's out, we also had our right front motor mount right here. Should look like that. Well, it looks like that. So we're gonna have to fix that, get that replaced. Power wash the entire thing. I don't know, we might look into taking the decking off and again. Rewire the whole car. Yeah, we're gonna rewire everything. Yeah, I don't know. Recall don't work on the gauge. Um, you probably can't really see it up in here, but this wiring is a mess. And it came, the car came like that, so we're gonna redo all that, get all that cleaned up. Um, our recall and our tap doesn't work. For those of you that don't know, when Caden comes in from the racetrack, 
there's a little switch we're able to flip and we can see how high of an RPM he turned. Which just gives us information, you know, gear and otherwise stuff for setup. Show them Caden's uh, wall head. Yeah, anybody that, if you were at blowout weekend, I think it was Saturday night. Yep. If not, go back to our Saturday night blowout video and then our heat race. Caden decided to plow the wall down and this bumper was brand. So for those of you that don't know or are new to the channel, we redid the entire body on this car for a blowout weekend, which blowout is a Friday night, Saturday night event for us. Brand new bumper, brand new nose. Caden hit the wall, ripped my fender bracing I off the car. The <laughs> we hit it hard enough to push this. That's probably a good two inches. Two inches? Honestly, yeah. That's like a good centimeter and a half. I can't say what I want to say on video. <laughs> but th this is how we are. We A lot of stuff is off video because it's not family friendly for us. But anyway, this is our first attempt at a vlog. We're going to take you guys along with us for the through our off season, tear down, rebuild. And then next season, have you in the pits with us and... We'll, we'll still have the GoPro videos on the race car and from the stands. But show you what we do at the track, at the shop. Just kind of bring you into our program and our lives. Another thing is, we literally spend a quarter of what everyone else spends. And we run right with them. Even with a new driver. Oh yeah, I mean, racing, money is money's big, but it ain't everything. Setting no, setting a car up, having a, a good setup on the car, which we have some. You, you'll learn, you'll you'll see as we go through the off season. But we got some plans, some help, a lot of help, which we'll shout them out when the time comes. But we got, I mean, he's got a, pretty much a driver coach. I mean, you guys know him, Kyle Moore. You like him or hate him. He's an amazing driver, and he's been giving Caden a lot of help on how to run Wayne County. And with this setup, it's going to happen for this year. Yeah, you know, I might, might as well just say it. They are going to they're going to help us set this car up for Caden. I mean, we we we're, we're pretty knowledgeable, Chase and I, and obviously Dean Alexander. Anybody that knows him, he's incredibly smart with the stuff. Been doing it for, I think Jessica figured sixty four years or something like that. But as everything technology and everything changes, I mean, we get new stuff every year. So we got some help with guys that really are smart with all this new stuff and what to do. And this shaft is a 16. Yeah, and we are probably on one of the oldest chassis in the field. It's a 2016 slider race car out of uh, Pennsylvania. Yep. Um, and yeah, Penn, Ohio, for anybody that knows street stock stuff, you, you'll know what we're talking about. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, we'll have more coming up. I can't really give you a time frame. It's just when we get time, you know, we're, this isn't our jobs. We have, we got, me and Chase got full-time jobs. Caden's got school. We get out here when we can. We're going to try and have this thing ready. I think goal is a month before testing. Whenever that schedule's released, but we want to get this thing rolling. Get stuff out, get stuff fixed, repaired, built. So thanks for watching. Um, okay, do you want to do a hunt the front closeout? You know what to say? No clue. He probably doesn't, hasn't even watched it. Of course. Please. Like, comment, subscribe. Please, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're trying to get that built, get recognized, get Caden recognized. Uh, check out our Facebook. I think it's still it's still just Alexander Racing. Our technical team name is now Caden Alexander Racing, which we'll get some of that stuff updated. Shirts are being designed now. Yeah, shirts are being designed. We're gonna have new shirts with the car on it for 2023. Have a, a couple of basic shirts, probably maybe hats, yeah, hats, beer koozies, which we still have beer koozies. Send us a message if you're interested. We have the mini 
Yeah, they're, they're, they got the mini wedge. Those of you who don't know Caden's history, he raced this, very dominant in it. Undefeated. Actually, yeah, undefeated this year until we stopped him, stopped him in it and put him into the big car. This is a mini wedge. It's, uh, I call it a glorified go kart with a body on it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Caden. This is where Caden came from, running mini wedges. And then, which we time, may have some videos coming up if, with our indoor kart racing. Yeah, we do plan to potentially go run some indoor which indoor is. carts over the winter, which has wins on it. This car, this cart's won that stuff. We'll be running the flat track first. Yeah, flat track stuff. Um, but anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Check out our Facebook. Check out our other, check out our videos. There, I think there's six or seven on there on our YouTube channel if you scroll back. I mean, they're nothing vlog style. They're just GoPro and from the stand videos. But thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Hey.